Hello everyone, this is Jonathan Robinson and you're watching Study Skills 101. So today this is going to be a really quick video, or I hope it's going to be a really quick video, on a quicker way to produce your reference list at the back of your essay or dissertation. So um, as you may already know, I'm a big fan of using Google and specifically Google Scholar. So that's where we're going to go. Go to any search engine. I'm in Google already, so I'm just going to type in Scholar click on that first link. So let's uh, set a scenario here. So let's say you, you're writing a paper on, for example, interval training. Um, you've either already found that paper that you're using, that you're citing in your essay, or you're searching for it in general. So let's assume you're searching for a paper. So I'm simply going to type in interval training. And as you probably already know this produces a list of academic papers that you may or may not be interested in let's say for example you're interested in this top paper here the top search uh, published in 2007 now you've cited that paper within your essay the way you normally would but you need to put that in your reference list now traditionally you'd either type this in manually um, giving the author's name the year of the publication um, the title of the journal as well as where it was published and page numbers volumes those kind of things but there's actually a much quicker way to get this information so you've probably noticed we have some options at the bottom of this reference that we're interested in we're going to go straight to the one that says cite now we're referencing in APA all I have to do is double click copy and paste that in my reference list and that's essentially my referencing done um, a few quick tips or, or words of caution if I can do make sure that this is set out in the correct way it's not always a hundred percent accurate so there might be a few errors or mistakes that you need to point out specifically these three dots I'm not entirely sure what they're referencing here um, if it's wrong make those corrections but essentially this saves you having to type out all of the author's names the whole title the journal uh, the volumes and the issues as well as the page numbers so simply double click paste that in the back of your reference list okay guys I hope that's been uh, an interesting and informative video if you liked what you've seen please click the like button if you'd like to be kept up to date with any other um, videos that I've coming out that will hopefully save you a little bit of time with your academic writing please hit the subscribe button I'd love to hear any feedback from you guys about this channel and whether it's worth me keep making these videos. Uh, I hope that's been okay, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.